judge. Uh, He's on his way down to the water. Speed Rexons or one? Oh, uh, uh, really? Yeah. Excellent. There we go. There's the judge just lurking there in the bushes. Most definitely. Um, obviously, the horns play a very vital role in their defence. Um, but animals like this, so they're very cunning animals as well. They're not just strong and brutish. They are very cunning, very clever, and they know how to avoid uh, predation as well. Um, but the fact that he um, doesn't have his uh, doesn't have horns anymore definitely he would be an easier target, or by no means an easy target, just an easier target. I think they want to head down to the door. There he is. Again, a very old male. All the indications, I mean the broken horns are a big giveaway. Let's look at the condition of the face. He'll, he'll be out in the open now. They're just slowly heading a little bit further away from us just to give a gap between us and them. And how do you think, uh, or how can the buffalo lose this horn? Um, well, <clears throat> again, like I was talking about earlier, there's belief that these keratin moths can weaken the horn structure. Um, it can also be a genetic, uh, a genetic pass down, weak horns. Um, remember, male, big male buffaloes, uh, when it comes to breeding rights in the herds, they'll often engage in quite, uh, quite tough um, physical and uh, like a combat um, and <clears throat> aggressive behaviour towards each other. They'll clash horns, uh, maybe two horns locked together and one with stronger horns makes a twist and the horn can break off. Just having a weak horn.